educational institution which helps us find inspiration, build resilience and tolerance, teaches us lessons of love, survival and unity. Most of all, it brings us the experience of showing compassion for each other and understanding emotions of each other. This is what we call empathy. We have heard of many stories of chimpanzees and other apes looking after wounded members of their troop. Chimpanzees are capable of recognizing the distress of another individual and consoled by means of grooming and embracing. How all the elephants look after baby elephants in their herd. There are group rituals of elephants where they mourn the death of the members in their herd. They bury the dead body with leaves and guard it for many weeks. How dolphins support sick dolphins to stay above the water so they will not drown. Also, dolphins are known to rescue human swimmers from killer sharks. Recent study conducted by a group of researchers from the University of Georgia showed that even smaller animals like prairie voles are capable of comforting stressed out individuals simply by licking and huddling. Moreover, we all know the unconditional love our pets bring to our lives. How they jump to rescue us when we are in danger and comfort us when we are hurt. Now, what I'm going to share with you today is a personal experience of mine. This involves my courageous pet dog, Calvin. He was just an eight month old puppy when this happened. Calvin's best friend was a neighborhood dog who was way bigger than him. He used to go out in the morning and evening to play with him in the abandoned land next to our home. There's also a gang of stray dogs in our neighborhood as well. One morning, there was a big commotion in the road outside my home. The neighborhood dogs had grabbed Calvin's friend by the neck and he was struggling to set himself free. Calvin was barking furiously at the dogs, trying to rescue his friend. We were worried that Calvin will get hurt, but no matter how many times we called him, he didn't come until his friend was safely out of reach of the other dogs. By the time the fight was over, Calvin's paw was bleeding badly but he was wagging his tail to show that he was happy because his friend was safe. In Calvin's eyes, I saw the determination of a true friend. In his puppy bark, I heard the echo of true friendship. I saw a brave dog who is courageous enough to fight dogs twice his size so he can rescue his friend. Unfortunately, Calvin passed away a few months after this incident. His friend used to come every day looking for him for a few weeks. He still comes every now and then. It was remarkable to see how a small puppy can be so fearless because he loved his friend deeply. I hope we can do the same for each other. Be there when we need a friend. The feeling of us being there for another and being able to understand emotions of each other has become important today than any other time as the humanity in us is challenged with a global pandemic. Let's embrace love, kindness and thoughtfulness for one another and this world will be a beautiful place for all of us. Thank you.